my name is Jamie Lee and today I'll be doing a first time watch a live reaction to The Shining. There's two movies that I'm going to watch for Halloween, this one and The Thing. This one was the most voted for by my viewers so this is the one that people wanted me to watch. I know nothing about it apart from the fact that it's horror and it stars Jack Nicholson. I don't normally do horror. I know a lot of people laugh at that because you know I watch The Walking Dead but to me The Walking Dead is like a drama, a drama that I love but anyway I'm not going to go into that. I'm watching The Shining for the very first time. Know nothing about it so let's just dive straight in and watch The Shining. <laughs> Here we go. The music is very eerie. <laughs> this landscape is so pretty, isn't it? Well, the mountains, the snow. I'm a big fan of snow because I don't get it here in Queensland. We just have sun all the time. So yeah, <laughs> snow's a bit of a biggie for me. Jack and Jack. <laughs> I love the cigarette butts while they're eating breakfast. Oh, this is so 80s. Yeah, just what a kid and a wife wants to be isolated. <laughs> Great. Oh god, it's a haunted hotel or something. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh god. Jesus. Oh my god. Do you still want the job? Yeah, right? <laughs> like, hey, you want this job? But wait. <laughs> this guy went on a rampage. Oh my lord. Is the kid, is the kid like, possessed or something? Is Tony like, mm. oh, get out. No! I got the job. I hate the music. The music is <laughs> it's making me freak out just hearing that. <sighs> oh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna <laughs> go to the hotel if that's what he just saw. <sighs> I bet he didn't tell them what happened at the hotel, huh? Mindy, ain't you together, huh? Oh my god, yeah, because that's something that you tell your kid. I love that he knows what it means. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I love the payphone there. Oh god. I don't like these walk-in phrases <laughs> that happen to lock from the outside, right? Oh god, just like a ghost ship. That's foreshadowing, is it? Oh my god, poor little thing. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's shot really cool, huh? Yeah, you would seriously get lost there, huh? It's like a maze. You can hear it echoing off the walls how empty it is. Oh god, please don't lose the kid. Please stay with the kid, bloody hell. And it's shot really beautifully too, isn't it? Wow, that's cool. A little replica of the maze. No, stay away. No, keep riding. Keep riding, Doc. No. Mm. She's a breath of fresh air and he's just so bland, hey? Yes. Don't be so grouchy. Yeah, grouchy. That's the word I was looking for. He's so grouchy. Mm, grouchy, all right. Whew. Whew. Okay. I'd be saying bye, hon. Oh, God, he's possessed already. But they didn't even go in the room. Well, at least they have a radio. That's good. If they need Oh, we're help. just fine. She's so Over. sweet. Over. 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 <laughs> Ten four. <laughs> Oh, they speak. Hello, Danny. Oh, 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 poor little thing. Oh my God. I love that shot of the mirror so you can see his face as well. That's really cool. Please don't know the kid. He even looks like he's gone mad, doesn't he? Oh my God. That's not very convincing at all. No, no. Don't go in. No. Oh. Oh, so he's having a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> Wiping up all that spit. He's such a good actor, eh? Oh my god. Yeah, maybe just leave. Oh god. He went in the room. Oh, is he possessed or something? Oh my god. Oh, and he's sucking on his thumb like a proper, like he's scared. He loves his naked black women, don't he? <laughs> Aww. He knows something's about to happen to them. Can't he go there and stop it then? Aww. This colour palette is so 80s too, isn't it? The lime green, the purples, the yellow walls. Oh god. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, hello. Oh, his face kills me. Oh, God, is she going to strangle him now? Oh, okay. 
<laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. Ew. Ew. Oh, yuck. Maybe I should just not look until the laughs end, then I know it's completely over. I feel like I'm missing stuff, though. No, okay. Ew! I thought she was going to strangle him or something, and then we was kissing her, I was like, uh, what? And that's what that little kid saw. Jesus, he'd be traumatized. Poor little thing. Lies. As if he would do it to himself. Oh, come on. His favorite bartender. Oh, is he the one that went crazy? Oh my God. Oh gosh. Oh, they're gonna hurt the kid. A naughty boy. Oh my gosh. Mm. A talking, yeah, with an ax. Look at his face. He just plays crazy so, so well. Oh, hopefully the chef comes and helps him. I can see something bad happening to him, trying to help. I love that she's just walking around with a bat now. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, he's going crazy, girl. Yeah, you need to stay away from Jack. I love that it's proper written too, like in novel, like there's paragraphs and spaces and oh, I love it. Very funny. But it's all the same sentence. <laughs> She's still flicking through like one of the pages has got to say something else, surely. <laughs> oh, Wendy, sweet Wendy. Jack's gone mad, babe. Get Danny and GTF out. Oh, God. Get the bat. Get the bat. Oh, oh, Wendy. Oh my gosh, she's so creepy. <laughs> His acting is so, so good. <laughs> so if the kid can see what's going to happen, like maybe he can stop, you know, like, oh, I don't know, like see it coming before it happens. <laughs> that was the... That was the weakest, weakest swing. Poor Wendy. Just run, just go back I'm there. just gonna bash your brains. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why doesn't she run? Run away. Like if she had one good swing in there, he could probably tumble down those stairs. One good hit. <laughs> Wendy. Yes, on the head though. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I literally just said that. Okay. Now run. Oh my God. Wow. How funny is that? <laughs> One good swing. <laughs> oh dear. He gonna be cross when he wakes up though. In the freezer room. Oh God. I love it. Come on, Wendy, use that strength. There we go. Oh, don't tell me he locks her in there. Please God, no. Come on, Wendy, get out. Oh, it's the other room. I thought it was the freezer one. <laughs> Got excited for a second there. God, she's being kind, man. I would have put him in the freezer room. Good. That's great. Good. Also great. <laughs> He's so creepy. Oh my God. Yeah, she ain't going anywhere in that. The others, like how many times has this happened? How many years has this gone on for? I love the sounds, like it sounds like the wind's whistling and it really does sound like it's winter, even though he's in, in this cupboard, you know? It still sounds really great. Yes, come and save him. This guy, coming in like a hero. What the heck? That's so creepy. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> What's he doing? Oh. Mm. It sounds like it'd be red rum. Oh my god, he's got wake her up, wake her up! Oh my god. I don't like the way he's saying that it's so creepy. And I hate how he's holding the knife like this. Oh, oh murder. Murder, okay. Oh. Red rum, red rum. Oh my Oh my god, the poor little thing. Go in that room, maybe. 
I mean, locking it's not really going to do too much if he's got an axe to the door, really, is it? Like, ooh. oh, poor thing. I mean, to be fair, she could fit through that. She's she's a twig. Come on. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> yeah, you should have probably lifted that up a little bit more. It didn't go up any further, sweetheart. You need to lift the bloody thing. Oh, and he's just going to... Oh, poor thing. That's a good start. No, 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 no. Get the kid and go. What's he going to do? Get her or get him? Oh, why did he go back in? Yes, leave. Get the kid. Get on the thing. Go. Oh, this poor guy. He's only trying to help. Like, can't he see what's going to happen? Like, maybe he could stop it. Prevent his own death. Yeah, I can see it now. This guy's going to... He's a goner. And Wendy and the kid will run, run off with his snowmobile. Is that what it was called? I don't even know. Um, that's what I'm calling it. The snowmobile, like a Batmobile with snow. Oh. Yeah, got him all right. Oh, my gosh. Damn it. Oh, no. Why did he go back in? He should have went out to the thing. Danny. <laughs> Sounds like Sandy from Greece, sweet and innocent, like, scream! Oh, is she gonna see the room or something? What the heck? What? What the heck was that about? Yes, get on, get out! Oh, why did she chuck the knife? Why did she chuck the knife? Get on the thing! Whatever the thing, yeah, hug later! Get on the thing! Yes, thank you. Oh my god. So intense. Yes, that's the sound that I want to hear. Yes, go. Just keep going. I like that ending, but I'm scared that that's not the end. Now what? Does he just... Because he couldn't fulfill his duties? What happens? Ah! <laughs> this random ranting. Okay. Phew. Ah, I feel a sense of relief. Right? I feel relief. What the heck? He looks so crazy, huh? 1921. Okay, thank you to everybody who voted in my poll to make that my Halloween movie to watch. I'm also watching The Thing. Uh, that's on behalf of somebody else, so I'm going to be on their channel. So I'm really excited because I'm actually watching two Halloween movies this year, or two spooky or horror. I wouldn't even class this one as horror, to be honest with you. This was more like a thriller to me. Like, when people said that this was a horror movie, I was a little bit scared. Like, I was like, I'm going to watch it during the day. And like, I was a little bit creeped out. It is during the day. So yeah, I was freaking out a little bit. But that wasn't too bad at all, horror-wise. You know, the thrill of, oh, what's going to happen? And, you know, is, the, is Wendy and Danny going to live? And things like this. So I really liked the camera work in it. Like, for 1980s, the way that they shot this was really, really cool. I really liked the scenes where Danny was riding the little trike thing around, you know, like doing laps around this hotel. I thought the way that that was shot was really good. Obviously, at the start with all the landscapes there, that was so beautiful because it really set the scene gave you that world building because you felt isolated you know you saw that they were up in these mountains you saw that they were all snowed in you felt isolated just watching it i felt like they were too far out and just by those shots that we saw at the start there so yeah it was really setting the scene with that i also really love the sounds in this not just the music you know like the doo -doo and the eerie if that's probably a bad description that sounded happy but you know what i mean there was some really eerie music going on in the background with this but also just the silent sounds as well. Like you'd have Denny, again, I'd go back to that bicycle scene. I'm sorry, I don't know why. But when Denny was riding that bicycle round and round and he's riding on the wood and you get that, you know, like clickety clack sort of like on the wood. And then you get to... <laughs> It's a really bad description and I'm going to do it again. Uh, and then you get to the carpet part and it's a bit more smooth and then you get to the wood and it's that clickety clackety sound again. Uh, so those different sounds sounded super cool. And then when they were both bouncing the balls around and things like that, you know, just hearing that echo bouncing off the walls, it really made it feel like that hotel was empty. You know, they really were isolated in this place. So I thought those sounds really set the tone as well. Um, I thought that was really great. I thought the acting specifically from Jack Nicholson was incredible and I think it's funny too let me get the the credits back up again Jack Torrance was played by Jack Nicholson and then you've got Danny who's played by Danny Lloyd 
I don't know if that's a coincidence or that was supposed to be, but I thought that was pretty cool too. Jack Nicholson was fantastic. His acting throughout the whole thing, the way that he just flicked was incredible. It was so eerie just seeing that smile from this crazy man. He plays crazy so good, doesn't he? The eyes, the grin, the all of it. His facial expressions alone, let alone the sounds coming out of his mouth and the noises that he makes and eerie. Very, very creepy. I also really liked the acting from Halloran. Did I get that right? Halloran, there we go. I really liked his character. I knew that he was gonna die. I knew that he was just gonna be the guy that comes in and gives the transportation. But I really liked what we saw of his character at the start and how he connected with Denny to to help him understand his gift a little bit more. You know, his psychic powers, his ability to see or predict what's gonna happen or see the past and the future, I guess, really. Um, yeah, so it was he was a really good character as well. I felt really sad for Denny. Oh, I feel the whole time I'm like, oh, this poor kid, oh, the poor kid. Oh, very sad. It's definitely a movie that surprised me in a few different ways. I was very shocked when I saw the young lady hop out of the bath completely nude. I was like, wow, this is very 80s, if you know what I mean. Uh, and then them using the N word in this as well. I think two times they used it. I was like, oh, wow, like this would not happen in this day and age. And then also that scene at the end where some guy's lying on the bed and then some other guy's on the ground on his knees with like a mask on. I was like, what? <laughs> What the hell is happening here? So I was very confused by that scene, but the rest of the movie I thought was really, really good. As I said, I wasn't scared and I might change my mind tonight when I'm going to bed and it's dark. But while watching that, I was not scared, but it was a good thriller and it was a good movie to watch for all the reasons that I mentioned before. You have to leave me a comment and let me know if there's a The Shining 2. Obviously, I'm going to research it after this so I'll know soon, but let me know if there's The Shining 2. Let me know if it's worth watching because if it's like that, you know, not too scary, then I might watch it next Halloween probably. Just joking. But no, let me know if there is a second one and if I should watch it. Also, let me know in the comments what you thought of this movie. Is it your cult classic? Is it your favorite horror movie? Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite horror movie. But I'm very glad that this one was picked for uh, my Halloween choice by my viewers. It was a really good choice. So thank you to those who contributed in that poll. And I feel relief. I feel like, yes, I've ticked off a horror movie about this Halloween. And I'm not too terrified by closing out right now. Again, I might change my mind later tonight, but um, right now I'm feeling good. So thank you to everybody. Make sure you give this video a like. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. And then head on over to my gaming channel as well and give me a subscribe over there. And then head to my socials. All the links are in the description. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, have a good day. Bye.